Ladies and gentlemen, the next speech will be delivered by the CEO TeachCast with Oxford, Mr. Kent Robert Holiday, and it will be continued with interactive dialogue. We are going to invite Mr. Kent Robert Holiday to come up on the stage. Al Kalima Asania Min Muasis TeachCast with Oxford, Wala Asayid, Kent Robert Holiday. Faliatafatol, Mashkuron. Jesalai Ken Robert Holiday, Tian Siang the Fire, Jing Mr. Robert Holiday. Hadirin yang berbahagia, sambutan kedua, sambutan dari pendiri Tishka Street Oxford yang sekaligus dialog interaktif. Kepada yang terhormat, Mr. Ken Robert Holiday, disilahkan. Hello. Thank you for having me. Sorry I'm so late. No problem. Airplane delays. But I'm glad to be here in Indonesia. And thank you for such a wonderful welcome to your school. It has been a long time since I have been in Indonesia because of COVID, yeah? Uh, tw almost two years. And so I'm glad to be back uh, to be able to visit schools and to meet with our partners. Um, I think it's a really exciting time to be in Indonesia. Uh, the students who are in Indonesia right now have a very big opportunity. So, I started the partnership uh, with Oxford many years ago, and initially we started in Korea. If you turn back the clock 20 years ago in Korea, many foreign investors were coming to Korea to invest. And they all needed employees who could speak English, but there were not many. Over the last 20 years, in Korea, if you could speak English, your income was 10 times greater than someone who could not speak English. 10 times. Very big, right? 2010, the international investors moved the investment to China. Same thing happened in China, right? But in the last 10 years, employees who can speak English in China their income is 15x, 15 times greater than someone who cannot. 2017, the international investors invested in Indonesia. COVID stalled it a bit. When COVID is over, the international investors will come to Indonesia in huge amounts, huge. Private equity, large corporations are all ready to come to Indonesia. Why is that? Because Indonesia is the last big economy. Right now, Indonesia is number eight in the world. Number eight, right? In 20 years, Indonesia will be number four. China, India, US, Indonesia. It'll be bigger than Japan. It will be bigger than Brazil, right? It'll be the fourth largest economy in the world. My belief, the same thing that happened in Korea and the same thing that happened in China will happen in Indonesia. But Indonesia will be bigger. I believe students who can speak English in the next 20 years in Indonesia, their income will be over 20x that of someone who cannot speak English. 20 years ago, when today's students' parents were in school, English was important, but now it is critical. 
because the middle class of Indonesia will be built in the next 20 years, and it will be built by people who speak English. Because when Google comes from America, and Facebook comes from America, and Sumitomo comes from Japan, and SoftBank comes from Japan, and Samsung comes from Korea, and Alibaba comes from China, they need employees who can speak English. And if you can speak English, your opportunity will be very, very large. In addition, Indonesia is unique to Korea, Japan, China. Because when business people come to Indonesia, they want to stay. I used to travel a lot to China, Korea, Japan. After one week in Beijing, you see the Forbidden City, you want to go home. You come to Bali, eh, maybe I'll stay a weekend and go to... You come to Indonesia and stay a weekend and go to Bali. Labawan Baojo, Raja Ampat. So much to see, right? So the tourism industry in Indonesia is going to get very, very large too. So you're going to have foreign investors and tourism. Two huge industries will happen in Indonesia. If you speak English, you will have big opportunity. As your slogan says, we must be first and the best. Right? So in your city here, you are the first to have TeachCast with Oxford, right? Now you must continue on and be the best. I think you will, right? But I think um, my belief in starting TeachCast with Oxford has always been, if you want to change a student's life anywhere in the world, especially Indonesia, teach them English. If they can speak English, they'll get a better job. If they get a better job, they'll have more money. If they have more money, they can travel and meet more people. If they do that, they become a global citizen, right? Have huge opportunities, and maybe we solve some of these world issues we have, right? So thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your welcome. Thank you for your patience why I got here. And uh, we're so grateful to work with you. It's really exciting. So let's be first and let's be best. Yeah? Thank you. Please give a big pause for Mr. Ken Rubin. Holy day. I was sorry that I mismentioned your name. I didn't mean to say Kennedy, sorry, Robert Holiday. I do really apologize for that, sir. No problem, thank you. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you very much. It's a very big honor for us that you come here, sir. Hadirin yang terhormat, sekilas ulasan dari Bapak Ken Robin Holiday. Am I right, sir? Am I right, sir? I mentioned your name. <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah. Biar tidak sedikit tegang, Bapak. Ya. Inti dari ulasan Bapak Ken Robin Holiday adalah pengalaman dari beberapa negara seperti yang terjadi di Korea dan China, mereka berusaha untuk um, mengembangkan bahasa Inggris di negara mereka. Dan di tahun sehingga di tahun 2017 Mr. Ken Robert Holiday berusaha datang ke Indonesia untuk mengembangkan uh, dan mengharapkan orang Indonesia untuk bisa berbicara bahasa Inggris dengan uh, wadah Tiskas with Oxford. Di sini dengan harapan bahwa di 20 tahun ke depan apabila kita bisa memberikan Memelari pelajaran kepada siswa-siswi di Indonesia yang sudah mumpuni dalam berbahasa Inggris, maka 20 tahun ke depan akan dikuasai oleh generasi-generasi muda yang sudah bisa berbahasa Inggris. Karena di Indonesia sudah mencapai perkembangan yang cukup maju di antara negara-negara di dunia. Sampai sekarang dibilang kita sudah di urutan yang ke-8, 
Dan semoga nantinya kita ada di urutan keempat Menjadi negara yang kita banggakan di dunia Mari kita beri tepuk tangan untuk Indonesia Dan kita sebagai Bapak Ibu Guru Pendidik Marilah kita cetak generasi-generasi yang bermutu Seperti yang dibilang oleh Bapak Har di sini Go Internasional Dengan memberikan uh, wawasan anak-anak Memberikan skill berbahasa dengan kerjasama dengan Teachcast.